Welcome once again my dear viewers. Our today's lesson is about construction. For you to come up with an accurate triangle, you need to follow the following steps. To begin with, you can either be given a triangle with only sides. May it be an equilateral triangle, may it be a scalene, or may it be an isosceles triangle. Provided you're not given any angle, you're only given all the sides. Also, you can be given a triangle to draw or to come up with a triangle with only one side and two angles. Again, you can be given a triangle whereby you are given only one side of the triangle and two angles. Therefore, I want us to look into how to come up with a triangle with the only sides without any angle. You are told draw triangle ABC such that line AB is equal to 6 cm, line BC is equal to 7 cm, and line AC is equal to 5 cm. Then, how can you come up with such a triangle? A sketch is a guideline that is going to show you exactly how the triangle should be. So my sketch AB from the instruction is 6 cm, BC is 7 cm, and line AC should be 5 cm. After coming up with this sketch now, now I come to draw the actual diagram. So with my ruler, I measure, I measure a base of 6 cm. So that's my base. That is my A. And that is my B. When I draw this kind of a triangle, never use a ruler. Come here and draw a length of 6 cm. Or even come here and draw a length of 7 cm. If you make such a mistake, your triangle will not be an accurate one. So how do you now locate point C? To locate point C, you use your ruler and your compass and measure a radius of 7 cm on the ruler. After measuring a length of 7 cm on your ruler, you come at point B and ma just make an arc up there. Again, you come to your ruler and measure a radius of 5 cm. This is now the radius of 5 cm I've just measured on my ruler. So I come at point A. I put my compass there and make an arc. So these two arcs, they have met at a point of intersection. So this point of intersection here, where the two arcs cut, so this is point C. This is point C. You can now use your ruler to join point C to A. And by that, we are now able to see our triangle ABC and the two arcs. So from the point of intersection here, now you are able to join C to A using a straight line and C to B. And that one now, we have an accurate triangle. I wish to stop there. And I want to urge you, my learners, to continue subscribing and following my YouTube channel because we are going to learn together and practice together. Bye.